Hello everyone, Anita here and this is day 12 of the 30 day sketchbook challenge. Today, um, well, <laughs> how do I say it? Today my imagination did not match um, my skill or the other way, my skills did not match what I've imagined and also my um, supplies did not match <laughs> what I imagined. So let me tell you the story. Um, I am really excited about the new Alice in Wonderland movie. Alice Through the Looking Glass, or whatever you call it, I just call it Alice the sequel uh, most of the time. And I'm so excited about this movie, literally everything is, uh, I'm listening, like, everything is reminding me of it. I'm listening to the song, the theme song all the time, and the soundtrack, and I watch, I watch the other movie, the, the first movie, and I just, it's, everything reminds me of it, and so... I don't know, I really like drawing the Cheshire Cat. I've drawn it before, but just, you know, I just felt like doing it again. And so I've decided to um, just sketch it for this challenge. I figured, you know, this is a perfect opportunity. It doesn't have to be anything big, anything overly complicated. It's just a cat laying down, perhaps. And I wanted to draw a little tiny Alice. I wanted to do it the way I normally do my sketches, so without really... Um, I don't know if you've ever seen my normal regular sketches. I don't draw very... I wouldn't say... Sp I don't go too much in details. I pretty much draw st st stick figures, just a little bit more, you know, fancy stick figures. And so I've decided to do the same thing here. So I just drew a cat and this kind of a stick figure Alice. And uh, they're both just riding on a cloud, and <laughs> sounds easy, right? <laughs> I've decided to use this pretty blue. I don't even remember the color name. I just this is I have two blues, and this is just one of them. That's how much I know about it. And I really like using that um, a chisel tip since my last painting, and so I've decided to do this uh, to use it in the background as well, just to give it a little bit of definition you know, to make that uh, cloud stand out. Just to add a little bit of extra interest, I really like my backgrounds to have some kind of color texture. I've noticed that I can't simply leave the paper uh, white. Most of the time, because I actually paint on dark, uh, I work from the background up, so I will always put the darkest color first, and then I have to have something to have the nice highlight pop off off, you know, to just be visible, basically. That's the idea. So here the idea was pretty simple. However, I did not have the proper colors to pull it off. Um, but that's okay. I really don't feel that. I felt bad about it at first. And that's mostly because I kind of feel responsible in front of you guys, I suppose. You know, <laughs> sketching for yourself is a little bit different than sketching if you know that people will see it, and not only the final, um, the final piece, but the whole process, that that's really stressful in a way. Um, it doesn't affect me that as much as it did before, but it still puts a pressure, because I know I have to come up with something <laughs> that does not completely embarrass me. Um, there is, uh, it doesn't really, it wouldn't bother me personally that much. If you guys didn't, weren't able to see it, I, I mean, if I was just sketching for myself, I wouldn't care at all. But that's the thing when you're displaying your art in public, um, you need to keep a, center, a certain standard because that's just, you know, um, I, I believe that's how you show respect towards your viewers. <laughs> you just, you know, you, don't, you won't show. I don't want to show you guys something that's mediocre or just below my best. I just want to give you the best I can, just the best I can produce. In this case, the problem lay in the colors, because as you know, the, the Cheshire Cat from the Tim Burton movie has these um, very fluorescent um, stripes. And that's absolutely gorgeous on it. I love that design. And so I figured, okay, I had a teal marker. I could, I could use that marker. I was so excited. And... Um, when I put the mar the marker on, the teal one, it looked really nice, but then I didn't have anything to blend it nicely together with the 
the other, the brown color. And I tried to do it color pencil first, but because I put that very saturated Copic before, you know, the, cop- the colored pencil looked very bland and it did not pop. You-, you could barely see it. I mean, if you were watching me draw the whole time, you, w- you would have seen me doing stuff, but there was no color appearing on paper. It was just, it, the, the, this paper is not the best for colored pencils. So I came uh, back with my the W3 uh, the Copic marker, my trusty <laughs> warm gray. It looks fine. It, it really, there is nothing bad. I mean, I'm telling myself this is just a sketch. Um, it, this, the sketches are supposed to show you how the painting will look like if you decide to do a proper version of it. So this is the moment when I'm deciding, okay, these are the colors, this is how I will produce that effect I'm after, you know, that kind of the technical stuff. And so I don't have to worry about the perfect details in the sketches, but because, you know, I feel so um, responsible for what I'm showing you guys, I- I'm trying to really do more here than I would normally do in, in, in a sketchbook. And, and that's fine, I'm, I'm not trying to be here like that it's a bother or anything, it's not at all. It's just that in this case, I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? This doesn't look like anything like what I wanted it to. So, but, you know, um, I just kept going. <laughs> That's what I usually ju- just, I-, I can't really scrap that. Uh, when you're on the 30 day challenge, your time is really limited. So this had to work. So I tried, you know, adding some color, like some shading. I tried adding another layer of the Copics, making it deeper. That often helps. Um, here I've added some, I wanted to add some like pastel colors to the cloud, but that did not look good at all. So I just skipped that. And at this point I was panicking. I was like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? And so I've decided to add the lines as well, just to kind of, um, if you're adding so much dark color, it just makes sense to add dark lines as well. Just basically, that's what I had in my head. And so I'm just trying to play with the same colors. And I don't like it until at some point I pulled out my um, the acrylic Molotov pens. And I started adding little sparkles and just lines, just kind of refining the shapes. And it added that extra layer of detail that I was missing. So here I'm adding uh, white sparkles, like as if he's glowing, kind of. And then I pulled out this very pastel yellow um, marker, acrylic, and I've colored her hair, Alice's hair, and the cloud. And that really pulled the whole thing together for me. That was, um, it's not the best I've done, but I feel like I've managed to um, rescue that piece because, yeah, that's that's how that's what you get when you have a limited supply, okay, of of stuff to use. <laughs> you have to work with what you with what you have. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's it. That's my Cheshire Cat. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> that was one frustrating piece, I have to tell you, but it came out really nice, so I'm happy. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye.